Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today, we're going to be talking about a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the topic of Newton's laws titled Fnet equals M times A. The actual one has a little asterisk in here between the M and the A to represent times. But I thought you could figure it out. Um, so I'm going to link here the video we did on Newton's second law. Just a reminder, F is force, M is mass. A is acceleration. Also, this, as we saw in the title today, the force that causes the acceleration is always the net force. Okay, so the net force means the combination of uh, two or more forces, or if it's just one, then that force is the net force. It's the combination of all the forces. All right, let's take a look at how that plays out in both the activities one and two and activity three. So activities one and two are virtually the same. The only difference is in activity one, the mass is always one. Okay. But other than that, they're identical. So I'm just going to do one problem. I'm going to do something that's not one because it's a minuscule amount harder. Okay. So we see here we have the acceleration of three and we have the mass of two. Okay. So our equation was F equals MA. We know M is two kilograms. We know A is three meters per second squared or meters per second per second. So then we plug into this F equals two kilograms times three meters per second squared. And that gives you F equals six newtons. Okay, but remember, that means that the net force has to be six newtons. Okay, we have a westward acceleration. That means we need to have a net force to the west of six newtons. Well, since you have to have a force going in every direction, you have to have at least two newtons this way. And so to get a net force of six, excuse me, that's not right. I was thinking we did a net force of eight, excuse me. Um, so we'd have to have eight here because eight in this direction minus two in that direction, because that's the opposite direction, would give us a net of six. Okay. And then you'd need to be careful because this is not accelerating north or south. These two would have to be equal so that they would cancel out. The north and south tug of war would be tied. So you can make them both eight, you can make them both four, you can make them both two, make them both six, whatever you want. As long as they're the same, they're going to cancel out and you'll be good. Same thing with these numbers here. You do not have to have two and eight to get a net of six. You could have 10 and four or 14 and eight. Okay. Any two numbers that when you subtract them give you six and the bigger number is to the west will give you a westward force a net force of six newtons, which would cause this acceleration. Now, once you click it in, you click check answer, you'll see this little fan here spin around. It's like a little hover disk and you'll see it start to hover with the forces you've got printed. So if you, yours goes in the wrong direction or the dots don't line up, it means you got too much force, too little force, or you've got some force in other directions. Because remember the net force is what's causing the acceleration that you're seeing. Okay. All right. Let's go on to our last example here for activity three. Then you can see that we're heading off in, in at an angle here. That means we're going to have to have some net force to the east and some net force to the south. Together, those are going to give you that angle. This does not have you do the trigonometry to figure out how much it is. Instead, it gives you an eastward acceleration of this, and it gives you a southward acceleration of this. Okay, I'm not going to go through all the steps because we just did that in the last problem, but we see that we have a, a two kilogram object. So eastward, actually, let me write that over here. So my eastward uh, direction, I'm going to have two, I'm going to have uh, two kilograms times three meters per second squared. So that means we're going to need six newtons of force, net force in the eastward direction. And in the southward direction, make that blue, in the southward direction, we're going to need five times two, two mass 
five acceleration, two times five gives us 10, and the units work out to give us newtons. So that means, keep in mind that our southward velocity will mean need to be 10 bigger than our northward velocity. So if our northward is four, this one would have to be 14. And here the eastward needs to be six bigger than the westward, okay? Eastward needs to be six bigger than the westward. So uh, that means if our westward is six, then this one would need to be 12. Okay. Again, keep in mind that it does, these exact numbers aren't important. What's important is how much bigger the eastward is than the westward, how much bigger the southward is than the northward. And that'll give you the right things. You'll click check answer and you'll see your hovercraft drift off in that direction. Okay, if you made the northward bigger and the westward bigger, you'd see it drift off in that direction because you're pulling it harder in those two directions. All right, enjoy puzzling this out. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you to solve these problems, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you the next time on the Scientific Adventures of Beardman.